Hi guys, I'm Bobsy, and in this video, I'm going to look into how you can connect to other networks as well using multiplayer to actually test this out with your friends or on another computer or alike. This is a question I've received a lot in my Discord, uh, so this is why I want to go over this video fairly briefly. Now, there are a lot of software out there that can help you do this. Some of them are zero tier, as an example. Uh, I personally use Syrgia, I really like it. Some people like Hamachi, I'm not a big fan, but you can use whatever you like. The idea is generally the same. So I'm gonna briefly go over how you do it in Zero tier first. Um, but of course, this is specific to the software you choose to use and it's gonna be pretty much the same process. So the first thing you do is you go to Zero tier's website and you download their uh, Zero tier one. You can just simply download them from here. Once you do that, you go to my.zerotier.com. As you can see, I already have a network here. I'm not gonna share the network ID with anyone and you can click create a network. Now with this network, I can simply open it up and I can set all the settings. This is just gonna be like this network. It's simply just a private network, which is completely fine. And then if we scroll all the way down here, you can see no device has joined the network. Here we have the network ID and I can go to my zero tier and click join new network. Now with this new prompt, I simply enter the network ID and I click join. And I'm just gonna allow this, I'm gonna press yes. And here you can see I can give it a name. This is Bobsy, because it's me. So this way I know it's me. And I'm gonna click authorize out here. And boom, now I'm a part of the network. And you'll have to do this for your friends as well. So they'll have to get zero tier, join the network ID, and you have to authorize them in this system. Now, for the actual setup, you go onto your network manager in your multiplayer project, and you click add component, and you're gonna add the talk code component. Now immediately here you'll see there's port and we have localhost and this is obviously what controls what network you're on. So localhost means that you can only run over the LAN network. So if your friends are on the same network as you, you don't actually have to change this. But if they're not and you're using zero tier, you can go here, I can find my network, I can go to my managed addresses and I can get my address and I can paste this into the client address. And now when you choose to, well, you should go build the game and you can send this to your friends and as long as you're connected via zero tier on the same network, it should just work completely fine as well as per usual. And well, this is basically, this is a very short tutorial, but I've seen some people being worried about can this actually be used for proper multiplayer? And the answer is yes, it works very simply with proper multiplayer actually. I hope this very brief tutorial was helpful for you. It's really simple to just use the talkbook component. Again, as I mentioned, if you're not using Surety but some other software, just look up a tutorial dedicated to that software and how to use it. It's the same idea. You need to find your own IP address or at least the IP address of the host. You need to make sure that everybody's on the same port, which is why you can just keep it standard. You can change it to whatever you'd like. This does also work with port forwarding. If you want to use your own actual IP address, you can use that uh, together with port forwarding and that's going to work just fine as well. Thank you very much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.